so as you know uh, the main function of dna is the storage and transmission of genetic information so uh, uh, a lot of uh, information uh, in heredity information is stored in the dna molecule and then this uh, uh, information is transmitted uh, to the next generation as well as this information is transmitted to the uh, cells metabolic machinery for the synthesis of proteins so how this uh, flow of information or transmission of information takes place the central dogma outlines the flow of genetic information during growth and division of the cells so uh, uh, when the cell is growing it needs proteins how the information coded in dna is transferred to the proteins uh, for for the synthesis of proteins and similarly uh, during the division of uh, uh, cell that means the formation of new cells so then uh, again this question arises how the information stored in the dna is uh, copied to the new cell genetic information flows from dna to rna to proteins during cell growth in addition all living cells must replicate their dna when they divide during cell division each daughter cell receives a copy of genome of the parent cell replication is the process by which two identical copies of dna are made from the original molecule of dna so replication occurs in the cells just prior to cell division because it is prerequisite uh, uh, of cell division if the cell is going to divide it must have a new copy of dna an important point is that information doesn't flow from protein to rna to dna it only flows from dna to rna to proteins however flow of information from rna backwards to dna is possible in certain cases due to the uh, presence or operation of a special enzyme which is reverse transcriptase so reverse transcriptase catalyzes the synthesis of dna from rna so uh, this is uh, in some special cases by the end of 1953 the working hypothesis was adopted that the chromosomal dna functions as the template for the synthesis of rna molecules in the cells so if rna is present in the cell the dna in the nucleus or uh, the chromosomal dna will act as the template for the synthesis of these rna molecules these rna molecules are uh, subse subsequently moved to the cytoplasm where they determine the arrangement of amino acids within the protein so after synthesis the, these amino uh, these rna molecules come to the cytoplasm where synthesis of protein take place in 1956 francis crick refer to this pathway for the flow of genetic information as the central dogma so this uh, pathway flowing pathway of information is called was called central dogma so this is the central dogma so here you can see this is dna and uh, the information uh, flows from dna to rna during the process of transcription and then from rna to proteins during the process of translation so this is uh, during the growth of cells however for the replication or for the cell division the dna must be copied and the direction is like this pre existing dna an important point in the above equation is that the two arrows are unidirectional so uh, uh, this means that rna sequences are never determined by protein subunits or protein uh, templates similarly dna can never be synthesized from dna so that's why 
the unidirectional arrows uh, are used in this uh, equation. The idea that proteins never serve as template for RNA synthesis has stood the test of time. However, RNA chains sometimes do act as templates for the synthesis of DNA chains of complementary sequence. So, RNA can synthesize DNA of complementary sequence. Such reversals of the normal flow of information are very rare events as compared with the enormous number of RNA molecules being synthesized on the DNA templates. So, uh, sometimes in special uh, circumstances, as I mentioned earlier, uh, where the uh, reverse transcriptase uh, uh, activity is present, only there RNA can be uh, used as a template for the synthesis of DNA. Thus, the central dogma, as originally proclaimed more than 50 years ago, still remains essentially valid.